let me show you how I find and submit errors in the Cologne dictionaries. The, we have the, this column of Monia Williams and there is Birdling. Actually not only Birdling but as you see several different dictionaries come here. So this is Edgerton, Wilson um, for example. And then we have uh, here the red are the differences in two different lists. And with the fuzzy algorithm, we see that there are quite many. As you see, there are false positives, like totally false positives, halfway false positives, and some that are mostly correct. Okay, and I found out that, for example, this one I've already submitted. Okay, I want to submit uh, an error. If I come and want to submit it, I need to search for it first because I don't know the L number of it. And as a input is Kyoto SLP and it runs, SLP is great but not for fuzzy because fuzzy doesn't work with. Uh, SLP because of the because of the because of the difference uh, because of the way the algorithm works. Okay, so Kyoto doesn't work there. SLP doesn't does not work. Etrans does not work. Only thing that works is EAST. The only thing that works is EAST. That means that I have to find the so one way would be for example I find the word I want to look for and here copy paste it from the hard Kyoto column I keep specially for this website special uh, but is it a good solution? I don't know but it works okay so otherwise what I can do is copy paste it to you and copy past once more insert search not found <coughs> that's bad uh, because it was there some time ago okay I don't know okay how to find it I want to try it uh, this way. Reflex and uh, like this one. Mbaha, mbaha, mbaha. Okay, it's already correct. It wasn't so just. Eight months ago. Okay, so I don't remember if I have submitted this. No, no. So now it's as it should be. Okay, let's take a different example. Let's search for matches. What basic? Hmm. What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? Okay, so in this case, what I do is find class corrections. What is the head one? Um, what is that?
Um, okay, let me do it once again. I don't know how much time does it take. Turns to the cloud here. Alright. Collections. Now, so this part I want totally automatic. L Edward. Even typo. We can actually take for articles. Let's say smaller than two hundred characters. We can take the whole text and just copy past and insert it here. And I can remove what I don't need. But at least I don't need my copy and past. Okay. So, what do we type? It's a headword type. So, the headword and typo is the same in this case. But, Shadra, Shadra, So, if I wouldn't have to fill out these two, and this would be filled with the article itself. The article itself is, and here would be a drop down like typo in the book, typo in the OCR, probably typo, whatever. So, there, sh there should be a drop down menu with options, no need of this. And uh, your name or email, I always fill email in, I never get emails, so now I fill my name. Okay. Sadly. okay. Let's try the last one for now. If I would only could only copy by default, he asked even that would make life easier. But it's not so. There is no option in he asked. Why I compare all the dictionaries to Mourner Williams? Because Mourner's Williams file is the oldest file there. And I hope that it is the cleanest one as well. That's why. That's why. Uh, so finding errors takes time, but submitting them takes almost the same amount of time, or even two, three times longer. That's why I do not submit a lot of them because it's take, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Love this feature. Would love to see as well statistics how many times each abbreviation is used. And of course, this I can hardly read. I would want to see the. Yeah. I want to see something that makes more sense to the human eye. And enumeration would be good as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I want to know the number of the reference. That's about it. Um, Jim, let me know if you can help me. Thanks.